In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get more out of Formatters Table. It does more than just jazz up your spreadsheet. There's a whole load of features that you can use with it. Now, before I jump into the content, if you haven't already, then please click subscribe so you can see future videos like this. Okay, are you ready? Then let's okay, go. Let's start by formatting this spreadsheet as a table. You don't need to select it first, as long as you've got one cell selected within, within your table. Then I click format as table, and I just choose the style that I want to use. So I'm gonna go for a nice warming orange color today. Spring is in the air. Click OK, and it's now formatted as a table. So let me show you some of the, the benefits of working with format as a table. Uh, I have been using it recently in some of my videos on like the, the stock and geography data types, as well as the ideas feature. Let me just take you through format as a table in its own right. The first thing you notice is that every column has a drop down, so automatically it's put that filter in there for you, so you can start filtering your data. If you don't want the filter option there, you don't have to have it. So up here under table design, you've got filter button. And if I deselect, then that removes them and I can always pop it back. So one of the advantages of the format as table is if I scroll down, you'll see there that I still have the column headings as well as the filter. So I can still filter those columns. So I don't have to scroll to the top every time if I want to run the filter. I can just do it from here. Look what else it can do. If I click here and then type in April, press enter, then it will pull the formatting down for me. In the same way, if I choose to delete a field, so let's delete Selena Kyle. So if I right click here, delete, it will keep the banded colors. Let's go to the bottom and let's add a new row. So I'm gonna put one in for some guy called Tony Leskoski add in the data. So what it will do as I'm typing these entries, it will pick up the formatting. Another useful feature is if I go up here to table design, I've got total row. If I click on total row, it creates a, row, a new row called total. If I click here, click on the drop down. So if I click here, I can see what total I want to use. For this example, I'm going to go for number. So one of the advantages of using this total row feature, rather than using auto sum, is that if I filter this list by the department, and let's do it by business development. It's given me a subtotal rather than the overall total. Whereas if I use the auto sum, it would just give me the grand total. Okay, let's clear this filter. Now on the subject of filters, let me show you something else. So first I'm gonna hide this column. Now say if I wanted to still filter by the department, but it's not visible on the screen. So what I can use instead is something called insert slicer. For those of you that work with pivot tables, you might recognize the insert slicer from there. So I'm gonna click here. So what insert slicer does, it allows you to filter your data, but the column doesn't have to be visible on the screen. So I want to filter by department. So I click department, click okay. And then from here, I can just choose how I want to filter it. So if I click on say business development, it's now just showing me business development. If I wanna select multiple ones, I just hold down control on my keyboard and select the ones that I want to see. When I let go of the control key, it then does the filter. Also with slicers, they're more visual. So you can see them on the screen. You don't have to go into a drop down list. So to remove this slicer, I'm just gonna click here and press delete. If you want to put this spreadsheet back to being a normal table, you can simply do that by going to table design and you want convert to range. So this will just switch it back to operate like a normal table. If I click convert to range, click yes to confirm. You can see that the filters have disappeared now. If I delete one of these rows, you can see that it's not maintaining the banded colors. Also, if I add a new month, it picks up the color from that row, which is standard with Excel. But as you can see, it didn't pick up the column coloring. So what do you think of format as table? It does more than just jazzing up your spreadsheet. It has a wealth of features that go along with it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is the video I want you to see next. And this is the video that YouTube want you to see next. And if you haven't already, then please click subscribe. I will see you in the next video.